Hey, I am Stacy from StacyStJohn.com. And I am Valerie from QuillDecor.com. And we are here to help you better your B&B. Yes, this is our weekly show where we review one property's interiors and listing in 15 minutes or less. Stacey, whose property are we reviewing today? Girl, I'm starting the timer. I'm so excited. This is Michelle's property in Broken Bow. And I am really excited to have a discussion about this property. When we can we start by the Fab Five photos, Val? Do you mind going yes, back? We can. There we go. Okay, awesome. I don't know about all y'all, but I'm wanting to stay here by looking at so many of her photos, but I feel like there's opportunity to swap out some pics in this Fab Five photo or yeah. Fab Five photos. Um, what are you thinking? Definitely, definitely. I think if you look at the Fab Five as, I mean, in one way it's telling a story, but in another way it's, it's a split second to grab someone's attention. Yep. So yes, you want it to tell the story. So I wouldn't probably, would you have two? I mean, it looked, well, four of these photos are exterior. Yeah. So let's get to more of the interior. Um, Michelle, so so Stacy and I both know Michelle. I spoke with Michelle at Stacy's Summit actually um, not too long ago. And so I kind of have an insight on this property. She wants to paint over some of the wood. So despite that, I think some of the interior um, shots are going to serve you well in these first five yeah. pictures, just showing the really inviting um you know, a bedroom and just um, try and capture some of the moments from the interiors. Yeah. I also think that photo in the upper right, the one that shows the pond or the lake in the background, mm -hmm. I would actually not put that in the Fab Five photos unless that photo is reshot. Because to me, that doesn't necessarily breed warmth. I know we're trying to show that obviously the property sits on water and that you've got this adorable paddle boat. But to me, this shot looks very, very cold and stark. And so I would recommend if we want to show a drone shot, maybe, and I'm so not a professional photographer, but shooting it at a maybe a slightly different angle so we can see the back of the property, the house, um, you know, well, I one. sorry to interrupt. I think part of the reason it looks cold is because it probably is cold because this is shot in the winter. So you can see that a lot of the trees are bare. Yeah. So redo their drone shots, Michelle, in a warmer time of year where you have more foliage. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And yeah. then do it at a different angle. Cool. Okay. So let's address the elephant in the room by talking yeah. about all the wood. Now, I was saying to Stacy earlier, I used to be a designer in Indiana and um, all of the husbands I ever encountered in my design job were very against painting the wood and all of the wives. I mean, this is very cliche, but it is just a fact and it was my experience. All of the wives were like, I think we should paint the wood. And then the husbands were like, no painting of the wood. And they would have a freak out about it. So this is the same sort of situation. The husband here is concerned because to be fair, the wood is appealing. It is a cabin in the woods. I get it. I do understand. However, this is, this is not photographing well. So there's a difference between the way it feels to be in the space and the way that it looks on screen. And the way this looks on screen is very oppressive. It's very orange. And so a couple of things you could do without painting the wood at all would be to lighten up your furniture and get a rug on that floor to just lift up the entire space. And another way to get rid of the oppressive orange tone in this picture is to bring in a better photographer that can capture the space with more natural lighting and turn off the overhead lights. The overhead lights are casting a yellow glow, which is making that wood all look more orange. So there is a way to just change a bit of furniture and change the photography to make this space feel more appealing. Now, let's just say we would consider painting some of the wood. I just wanted to show an example. 
of a beautiful house in Halifax, um, Nova Scotia, that has done a great job of blending painted walls and wood ceilings and wood floors. So there is a way to paint some of the surfaces and not all of the surfaces, right? Yeah. yeah. Another thing I want to say about husbands is this. <laughs> Cause I have one, I have a husband and sometimes I have to say to him, dear husband, and you can all steal this no matter what you're talking about. Dear husband, I've done some research based on my research. Everything is telling me that this is the right move for my business. Do you support me? So it could be that you say to your dear husband, I have done a lot of research in broken bow. And dear husband, I know our competition doesn't have our competition that's doing really well, that has really fully booked rentals, has a lot of white and bright interiors. So we need to make a change. Maybe it's not painting the whole thing. Maybe we compromise. Maybe it's I don't know what the solution is. But if you feel like your your calendar is not booking, there is a reason. And it could be because of your competition. And I know Broken Bow is a really high end area. And that that is a fact that a lot of the cabins are bright and white. Yeah. Yeah. I love that phrase. Do you support me? Um, because again, how can, how can our husbands not support us when we show them our evidence research? And so I think that's also a really important call out Val is that we need to do our research number one. And mm -hmm. A lot of times when people have the right information in front of them where they can see, oh gosh, I do understand now what you're seeing um, mm. with your, you know, with maybe competitors having white and, and lighter um, aesthetic. Yes, I think it makes sense. But in the absence of information, sometimes con convincing can be very difficult. Or even when people are confused about information, it can be difficult to, to get a green light or a thumbs up. So yeah, I want to point out the difference too. This is the main bedroom. Mm -hmm. And just with a brighter furniture and a white bedspread, this room feels less oppressive. Mm -hmm. Because we changed some of the surface material from wood. And a lot of the rooms are wood on wood on wood on wood on wood on wood on wood on, wood. on brown furniture with more wood, um, like yeah. this one, for yeah. example, like you can't, it's like a camouflage of wood in here. You've got a wood dresser and a wood chest and a wood suitcase stand. And oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a tree house, but maybe that's not what I want to be in. I don't know. I, this is not appealing. Right. Um, and I think to going back to this main room, I just wanted to point out, you have an opportunity to just potentially paint these walls on either side um, where the, it's an A-frame. So that go up to the top. So you could paint this wall and uh, this wall on the opposite side, that A. So I know that's sacrilege to some people, but do your research, find some cabins that are great examples that are doing well in your area. This is the research I have done. Do you support me? Yeah. So that's an option. And Val, the other thing that I notice about this space are the light fixtures. And to mm -hmm. me, the light fixtures don't serve Michelle well. Um, I think that there's an opportunity to change out the light fixture above the dining table. To me, that feels very, oh boy, sorry, oh whoa. Yeah, oh. Sorry. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what are these little pendant lights even over. I feel like there maybe in the original plan, there was some kind of peninsula top yeah. here and it got mixed. And now there's these random floaty pendants. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't make yeah. sense. Anyway, so yeah, I, I think, again, just swapping out the light fixtures, the ceiling fan, you know, um, light fixtures can make a huge difference when it mm -hmm. comes to the overall aesthetic and feel uh, when people walk in the room. I also just want to say that if we're going to put photos, I'm sorry, if we're going to put pillows on the couch, can we have them be the same size? At least two of them be the same size. 
Yeah, so the pillows are, I mean, honestly, we got to get rid of this sofa. This sofa is, is not, put maybe it it's complex. Put it on Marketplace. Let's get something fresher and more up to date in there. Because as Michelle mentioned to us, this house is only seven years old, but it, it looks quite dated. And part of that is the furniture and the light fixtures, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, you so talk about we've, the got, we've got about five minutes left. I would love to talk about the fact that we are looking at this listing right now in February. Okay. And a lot of the photos, the exterior photos that she is showing in the listing are very stark, meaning they were taken in the winter time. And there's a mixture, isn't there? So this one is summer, but yeah, it seems like most of them are winter. So I would just encourage you to look at the average booking lead time in your market and understand how far in advance people book stays. Okay. So if I'm looking in February, I might be doing a last minute booking. Maybe it makes sense to have all the winter photos. But chances are, I might be looking for the springtime. So mm -hmm. I think Lee, I love that picture, by the way. Or I the think, summer family reunion. Right, or right. yeah. I think including photos in your listing for the time of year that people are going to be booking right now is incredibly important. Not that you couldn't have others, but I would swap them out so that from a seasonality perspective, the photos make sense based on what seasons people are booking for right now. Um, so that's a, a quick call out. Yeah. That photo is beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. And I, well, and I almost wonder if you keep the seasons up, would you group them? Like if you have a cabin where you're booking all seasons, Stacy, would you maybe have a, a selection of fall all together? Yeah. A selection of summer all together and then have all of those in there all the time. So you're not moving them back and forth, but that way people know when they're booking, if it's going to be summer, spring, fall, they can see, they can look at what they're. You can absolutely do that. I mean, in all reality, we should be keeping our listings fresh and moving photos a lot anyway. Mm -hmm. So um, I think you could absolutely group them together or make a collage photo, hop into Canva make a collage photo of all of the yeah. seasons, what the property looks like. So that again, I have a sense of, oh, wow, I, I would love to stay here year round, you know, I think mm -hmm. that's, really helpful. that's a great, that is a great idea to have one shot. Like you could do a shot from the front porch in all seasons yeah. on one photo. That's a really great yeah. spot. And we love your front porch and we love your, mm -hmm little Adirondack chairs in the back. You've got some beautiful moments here, especially this one looking out on that lake. I mean, that is so inviting. That is, yeah. I think that is in her Fab Five. It's a great picture. I was gonna say, I would put that picture in the Fab Five. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, or if it's, yeah, something like that. Anyway, thank you, Michelle. I think, um, I think I think that covered the interior stuff, but yeah, go ahead. You have I one have more thing. one thing. Can we go to photo eight? Yes because I also just want to point this out as y'all may know by now, I look at, I'm, I'm pretty picky. Okay. But one of the things that is really critical is that we are paying very close attention to the details and how our potential guests might perceive things. So this particular caption talks about amenities and I can't read it on the screen, but it talks about amenities um it says a few of the many amenities provided so she's okay. saying in this picture i'm showing you uh, some things i provide which obviously is dish soap hand soap and paper towels and water question mark right so water's on again where the focus of that photo is from a photography standpoint is on the water so it makes me think wow this host is saying that water is an amenity okay so in my mind, again, any red flag that I have about this host makes me second guess, do I want to stay with them? 
So I would simply, if I'm going to be talking about amenities, I would change that photo. I would turn that freaking water off. Okay. And put the focus on the amenities, maybe group them together in a little vignette, you know, so that I understand what I'm looking at. Um, I, there's also another example in photo number two, it talks about the stove and being seasonal. Well, I'm sure, Michelle, that you're meaning to say that, you know, for the winter, the cold months, um, you're welcome to use the stove. But again, as a potential guest, I'm wondering, what does the caption read, Belle? Bell, uh, pot belly stove seasonal. Okay. So I'm wondering, are you taking out the pot belly stove? Or, oh, there's our timer. Dang, nab it. But Michelle, you get my drip. Like, just be more, just be more descriptive. Is what you're saying, right? You've got yeah. an opportunity to say a lot there. It doesn't have to just be three words. So you can cuddle up by can, the stove and yeah. stay warm as you're relaxing on the couch. I mean, whatever the case might be. You yeah. get it. Cool. Cool. Thank you so much, cool. Michelle, for submitting your listing, and thank you for. Um, following along, I really appreciated your comments and speaking with you recently. I think your cabin is great, has a lot of potential, and I believe you are going to make the changes that are right for you. And I hope that dear husband supports you in those changes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. And if you are watching and want to apply to have your property featured on the show, all you have to do is go to betteryourbnb.com and fill out a super simple form. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit subscribe so that you can get notification every time we release a new show. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I am um, Valerie Malone. And I am Stacey St. John. Happy hosting. Thanks. Bye for Bye. now. Bye.